Hi, this is Scott Hudson with the Augusta Press. Normally, you're going to see me wearing a suit and my trademark fedora hat, but today I'm not out uh, chasing and harassing politicians and generally raising hell. Uh, we're having a little bit of fun, uh, and we're going to be talking about one of my favorite subjects, and that's classic cars. Uh, so the, uh, the hat that I'm wearing, if you see this, it's Reed Poultry and Ice. I'm sure that all of you at some point in time have gone to the convenience store and bought Reed Ice. Well, that company started uh, with my great-grandfather. His name was Fletcher Reed, uh, and he, uh, he served in World War I, and at the end of the war, he went back to his home in Lincolnton, Georgia, uh, to his chicken farm, and one of the first things that he did was he bought himself a Model T Ford. And he drove that thing for many years until 1927 when Ford came out with the brand new state-of-the-art Model A. And uh, Fletcher went out and bought him a Model A, had it converted into a truck so that he could uh, take his uh, eggs, his chicken's eggs, uh, to market and uh, just absolutely loved that vehicle. So we found one and we're going to introduce you to uh, the fellow who owns it. All right, this is Mr. Joe Thompson, and he owns this vehicle. Now, you also own a, a business here in Augusta. Uh, what, what's the name of your business? Well, there's two of them, Industrial Metal Finishing, which is, we do chrome work and industrial work for people like club car and easy going, those kind of people. And then this back here is the hobby shop business. <laughs> well, folks, we're gonna, um, we're, we're gonna start going over the car, showing you some of the uh, kind of unique features. Uh, this is one of my favorite type of automobiles to look at because it is uh, original and unrestored. Uh, now, I believe you told me that we, we probably had a paint has, job. This probably had some things done to it, all, but as far as being taken apart and fully restored and put back together, no. It's still, best I can tell, still got the original engine that belongs in it. A couple of things have been changed, updated on it. It's been changed over to 12 volts, and it has a solenoid starter, which it didn't come with. Pretty simple inside. You had a, a deal to keep the engine to start real easy it was a spark that retarded the spark, which made it easy to crank, especially if you were going to use a hand crank. Uh, if you didn't, it could break your arm. Uh, many, many people had broken arms with Model T's because it, it kicked right. by. And then it had a, a simple light switch in the center and a horn in the middle and uh, two gauges, and that was pretty it. Other than that, a standard three-speed H shifting pattern. Uh, transmission and that that pretty much is a model a and again joe thank you so much hey, you're my welcome. friend yeah i'm scott hudson reporting for the augusta press